Back on the 29th of March, I picked up Jamie Page of JP Woodworks for the Atlanta Woodworking Show. He was sponsored by Izzy's Toolmasters Association and brought over for the Atlanta Woodworking Show. For those of you not familiar with Jamie, he's known for a couple of things besides woodworking. He loves to do photoshopping of people and he likes to be funny on video. Welcome to Minecrafting with me, Jamie Page. So I could have easily made a logo cup for JP while he was a guest at my house, but I thought how much more fun and how many more memories if I actually taught him how to do his own and to find out if a Brit could actually powder coat. At this point, I'm teaching Jamie to make sure that he has really good, even coverage over the entire cup. Now he's looking at the cup with the scan pen match pen. And now finally clean up before he puts the stand and cup into the oven. And not dissimilar to the changing of the guard at the palace gates, Jamie puts the cup into the oven and sets the timer so he can check to see if the cup has reached part metal temperature or PMT. Once he's confirmed that the part is at part metal temperature, he goes ahead and sets the timer for 20 minutes. And when that's done, it's time to pull the cup from the oven so we can actually add the logo. Now that the cup is ready to be lasered, we have downloaded his logo into RD Works, and we are about to upload this logo with all the proper settings to the laser. And once the logo is sent to the laser, we'll set the focus on the cup, and once that has been completed, we can hit start and start the laser etching process. As we begin to laser etch this logo, you're going to notice that we have a very clear view and that's because we have the lid just partially open so that we can get good video for you. Never do this. This is stupid. If that laser reflects off of something and hits you in the eye, you're blind. You don't get a second chance on eyes. So definitely don't ever do what we're doing in this video. Now I want to point something out. We were videotaping this from two different angles. This particular angle, we're fine. There's no possible interruption of the laser, but you'll notice here in a second, there's a black spot on the P part of the logo. And that's because we also had a GoPro coming in from the other angle. And as that camera moved around, the hand strap for the camera slung in front of the laser. And I'm gonna post a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about it actually disrupted the laser beam and cut the hand strap for the camera right in half. And that's what uh, that little line right there is in the P part of the logo. Had this been any other time or anybody else, we probably would have redone the cup, but because of the circumstances, who the cup was for, we decided that actually having that blemish and the story behind it was much more valuable to all of us than having a perfect logo. So there you are. Sometimes imperfection can actually be perfection. Unfortunately, because at the time I was so disappointed in this imperfection, I didn't actually take a photo of the finished product, but here you see me cleaning it up uh, to give to JP at the very end. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Minecrafting with me, JP Woodworks.